Hello guys, welcome back to Insider Electronics. So I went for thrifting again and this time I got this circuit board out of a flashlight. Now this thing looks like somebody was working on it previously because you can see the flux residue and you can see that the inductor is already damaged and even there is a patch in here with the uh, wire and also look at the state of the LED. Everything is chopped up, you can see that it's, it's been completely destroyed in the process of repairing it and end of the day somebody threw it away and I got it for free basically I don't I didn't have to pay anything I just got it for free and in this episode let's see what is wrong with this board and if there are any issues let's try to fix it but before that we need to clean this board because uh, as you have just seen this board is completely filled with uh, flex residues from the previous repair attempts so I'll be using generous amount of IP to clean this board so let me wash this board and after that I need to wash the LED also because both of them have a lot of flex residue. So let me clean this board and I shall come back after that. And now the board looks much better. It's clean. The LED is also clean. Now let's start checking for the components. Let's see whether the broken inductor is, uh, is an issue. And let's start from the LED onwards. So let's check it with the multimeter. I'm keeping the multimeter in the diode check mode and uh, it is lighting up but the meter is showing open load. It's not showing me a reading. I don't know why. But we can see that the LED itself is working fine. And that actually solves a lot of headache because we don't have to source a different LED now. So before continuing any further with the test, uh, we need to put a proper connection between the LED and the board and like you can see right now there is even a patch in that small length of a wire so let's remove this old wiring and let's put a proper wiring there so I shall come back after that And while cleaning the board, I noticed that there is a broken pad in this PCB. It's these two pads right there. There is a uh, missing connection. And fortunately, it comes straight from the switch. So even if there is a broken connection, we can fix it easily. But before fixing it, let's see whether the connection is still present or not. So I'm keeping the uh, multimeter in the continuity mode. And let's press the switch. And there you go. We can see that uh, it is indeed working. So the connection is still present it's just like the uh, other side we need to see whether it's making the connection there so it comes from the battery positive and it goes to there so let's press it and let's see what happens and uh, it's actually very difficult to keep a hold of this board and yes indeed it works so the switch is working and the track is also fine so let's continue checking the led and uh, here I have cleaned the pad like you can see so I have to make sure that there is no other connections coming onto that uh, uh, the pads apart from those two pads which are intended to go to the LED and these two things the on the sides they are just heat sinks so they have they are not connected to the LEDs by any means it's just a copper plated area working as a heat sink Okay, now the LED is wired up, but I have to make sure that I wired it up properly. That means uh, red to the positive, black to the negative. And to check that, we can use the multimeter again in continuity mode. And yes, the connection is made properly. And you can see the light is glowing very dimly. So now let's connect the wires to the main PCB. And I shall come back after that. Okay, so the wiring is now complete and let's turn it on. We need to see whether the board works after all these experiments. So uh, I'm going to connect a power supply to this. I'll be currently limiting this to a very uh, low value because I'm not sure what is the required voltage. But I assume that it's going to be somewhere in the region of 3 volts because obviously it comes from, from a flashlight. And uh, yeah, it works. And it's going to the CC mode in the power supply. So let me increase the current. Uh, a little bit and you can see it's, it is really bright 
uh, and hold on let me actually show you the power supply readings so that you will get a much better understanding and right now you can see it is taking uh, 270 milliamps I'm keeping the voltage at 3 volts and it is still going to the current limit mode even at 500 milliamps so I don't know how much current is going to take so let me adjust it to 1 amps and you can see the voltage is 3 volts and uh, now let's see uh, how much power is going to take and oh my god it's actually taking an amp of uh, 3 volts 1 amp so it's a 3 watt LED or rather it's boosting the voltage to 3 uh, uh, like you know whatever the LED requires but it's a 3 watt LED it's current consumption is huge anyway after all these years this thing still works as the best thing so thank you for watching the video guys see you with another video